So in today's video, Kayla and I are going to be showing you some of our October favorites, but instead of just showing you the products that we love, we decided we were going to... Why are you looking at me like that? I'm just a prop. We decided that we were going to pick out three makeup products that we've been loving for the month for each other, so we had to write down our three favorites and then pick out three that we thought the other one would choose. And so, yeah, it's kind of like a game. We're going to see who wins, and yeah. I mean, isn't life always a game? Yeah. Somebody has to win or lose. Loser. Winner. <laughs> so the products that I chose for Kayla are this blush from Ulta, and it's called Girly. And as you can see, she's used a ton of this. She's used a ton of this blush, so I'm positive that this is one of her favorites. Girly blush, you know, seriously, like... I only wear this because it's my only other blush besides Coralista, which is not a winter color. Get out. I picked the Balm's Mary Luminizer. I know you can't probably see the dent in it because obviously you don't have to use a lot of it. But there is a pretty big dent in the center. I use this as a highlighter every single day. I have Cindy Luminizer, but I like this one better. And I'll probably be doing a video on the Balm soon. I'll just watch it if you want to see what it looks like. If you can even tell the shimmeriness. So there's that. Mary Luminizer. Perfect uh, all round all year highlighter. The next thing I picked was this Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the color Honey Douche. It's douche honey. <laughs> it's just honey down there. Douche. She did get the Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain Juice, that's a mouthful, um, the Revlon Lip Balm, that's one of my favorites. And the last product that I'm picking as one of Kayla's favorites is this RCMA uh, Concealer Palette, looks like this, and oh it's a highlighting and contouring palette. But I wasn't quite sure what to pick, but I'm pretty sure she's been liking this because she wears like lighter makeup like sometimes she'll wear um, bare minerals and she'll like put this on um, underneath it so it's pretty good it's got a lot of shades for highlighting and contouring as it said so yeah that's my last pick and then the final thing I picked as a favorite was the Too Faced chocolate bar eyeshadow palette and this is what it looks like for those of you that don't know yes I have the old packaging it's chunkier uh, specifically hazelnut I'm pretty sure oh hot chocolate my be um, that's one of my favorites, and I have that on my eyes today. So, the first thing I picked as Dina's favorite for this month was her Max Fix Plus spray, and I basically know that it's a favorite of hers because when it came in the mail, I thought, I think she almost dropped dead, like, on the front porch. She was like, thank God, it's here, because she had a small size, and then she bought the big size, so I'm definitely right. Okay guys, so unfortunately for me, Kayla was right, and she picked my MAC Fix Plus. Um, she knows how much I love this stuff. I reordered it, and I had the baby one for maybe like two months, and I reordered this one so I could keep using it. So props to you, Kayla, for getting that one right. The second thing I guessed as one of her favorites was the Ardell eyelashes she's been wearing. Um, she wears false eyelashes now to football games because she thinks she's capable of doing that. I'm not really sure if she can pull it off, but whether or not I picked these as one of her favorites and or just eyelashes in general. Kayla guessed that I picked false eyelashes and while I can totally rock false eyelashes to the football games, I didn't pick that. So sorry Kayla. So my next favorite is my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, which as you can see is extremely used. I'm pretty sure I can't really get much more out of this. Um, I do use a lot of concealer, but I mean, oh well. And then the final thing that I'm guessing as one of Dina's favorites for this month is her Too Faced Natural Eyes Palette, specifically this color Silk Teddy, which she's hit major pan on. She uses it as a highlighter, she uses it as an eyeshadow, so that's probably, um, the top one but just this pal palette in general as well and lastly I picked my Garnier for tease BB cream in the shade light medium and I bought this back I haven't in the summer. seen you use that all month dude I have been using it you've been using dream mousse no I haven't that's too dark 
I like this because, you know, Kayla says that I'm a cake face and I do love to, you know, cover up and everything, but, um, I do love to cover up, but, um, I've been using a lighter foundation and more concealer, so it's, like, only full coverage on the spots where I need it, so. It's still a cake face. Shut up. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this slightly different October favorites. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and... Be sure to check out all of our other channels. They'll all be linked down in the description box below. And until then, we'll see you guys next Wednesday. Am I allowed to say anything? No. <laughs> you don't even let me say Say goodbye. bye. Shout out to Dina and her arm in this clip. Shout Thank out to Thank you for me, watching, guys. Because I'm about to cut it out. What? What? No. <laughs> all right. Goodbye. Yeah, I recognized this phrase when I looked at it. Why don't you ever tell me that my hair looks so bad, okay? Do you see the layer of frizz on this hair? Mm -hmm. Looks fine. Anyways. For you, of course. Um, I I'm Miss Vina. Vina. In case you don't care, I'm Miss Vina because... <sighs> Look, guys. Get down, get down. <clears throat> Ow, you're hurting my leg. Better get down. Bitch, I'm not Santa. Get your arm off of me. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Shout out to me for taking Dina's brand new scarf straight out of the package. What, what?